Now, I'm using a grappling mannequin, which has the added advantage of having limbs that you can navigate, uh, but it will work on anything. A punching bag on the ground is a perfect tool. You don't need to have the arm to focus on pressure or to focus on your overall mobility. Uh, and I'm going to show some variations on mannequin and some variations on man, for those of you that are visualization impaired. So perhaps the most basic flow set that you can look at is just how we can perform the Keza and then transition into what we term an open, a closed, uh, or a cross body. These are three of the most common transitions that you'll use. So we have our basic acquisition, we have head control and arm control, and we know that our body wants to be up. We want to avoid leaning past the center line, and rather we want to lean towards the head. So just in the open Keza, we have the option of being relatively high, where the weight is on the ribs, or somewhat lower in order to evade contact to the face. So we're going to consider this position one, high Keza, position two, low Keza, position three, we're going to switchblade those legs and bicycle into a closed Keza, so the crotch is more protected. Position four, from here we're going to take our OB, our belt arm, and we're going to wrap it under the head and change positions and go into a cross body. Our cross body can be done one of two ways. I generally favor being in a, an extended pressure-based cross body where my legs are all the way out, either on the blades of the feet or the balls of the feet. I want to have my hips low. My hips can touch, my knees can touch, but weight cannot rest on the ground. It is my feet and the center of my torso that is like a tripod, prevent, pre presenting all the pressure onto his ribs. So I want to avoid leaning on my knees and taking weight off of him. Others prefer a so-called frog or tight crossbody where the knees are all the way into the body. Uh, and there are advantages to both, and there are preferences uh, among, among the, the viewership, so each of you will have your own preference. I like to drill both just in case. So from that switch position, when I switch underneath, I'm going to start off with pressure and the body away. Then I'm going to look at sliding in nice and tight. On that tight crossbody, what I'm looking to do is make sure his head is up and off the ground. And then some people will put their knees under there, some people will control the arm, but I want to be nice and tight. Finally, from this position, I'm going to look how I can pop up and apply knee on body and then meerkat up my weight to apply all that weight onto his torso. So, here we go again. So, flow one, start off in a basic high case of I want to acquire, weight is on him. Two, go low. Three, switch, four, switch your arm, five, rotate into a full heavy pressure based cross body, six, in with the knees, seven, knee on body, and eight, meerkat up as high as you can. I'm staying a bit bent so you keep my head in frame, but it will be somewhere up around here. 